Hi, this is James Cassera, music writer for Rapid River Arts with another installment of Lingua Musica. We're here tonight with Mark and Shannon Kaysen, collectively known as the Cheeksters. It's a beautiful evening. Take it away, guys. How long have you been in Asheville? And tell me a little bit about what brought you to the area. Well, James, I, uh, we came here 10 years ago. Um, must have been 2000. And uh, we just heard really good things about it. We were living in Nashville at the time. And uh, lived there for five years, had a great time, really uh, played a lot of music, uh, made some great recordings, but we were just ready for a change. And um, we'd heard great things about Asheville, so we came to check it out, and we've been here 10 years, love the place. It's awesome. As, as do we all. Shannon, yeah. it's sort of a familiar story to fans of the Cheeksters, but talk about how you guys got together. It's a rather serendipitous and lovely story. I was traveling after I had graduated from college and was doing the Eurail thing around Europe and the first train that I got on there weren't any extra seats and I said do you mind if we sit down and Mark and his buddy happened to be in those seats. And I said seats. no no that seat's taken and uh, that she sat down anyway. We were on our way to Amsterdam. <laughs> well yeah it was, it was funny we ended up traveling around Europe together for uh, for a few weeks and then I was living and working in London at the time Shannon came back there and uh one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was visiting in America, and I've uh, been here 20 years. And so. Mark had a guitar that had some strings broken off of it and started teaching me how to play bass. Now, I can yes, say I from did. your accent, you're from the southern tip of London. Would that be accurate? You <laughs> would be accurate. I was born in Memphis, and um, Memphis, Tennessee, and then had my formative years in East Tennessee, Johnson City teenage years. Well, that's one of the things that I think is unique to the Cheeksters is that melding of the British and the sort of Memphis soul sound. There's traces yeah, sure. of that in your music. You want to talk about that a bit? Yeah. Um, well, I love I love British pop and rock music, uh, particularly from the 60s and 70s, but um, I've got a great love for the soul music that came out of Memphis in the late 60s, uh, particularly Stax and... Um, yeah, what a great music town. I can't believe yeah. I ended up with someone from Memphis, Tennessee. It's funny, isn't it? Wasn't that on a record? Memphis, Tennessee it's, somewhere? It is. Yeah. Memphis in the meantime, yeah. Mr. John Hyatt. Yeah, and right. he might have already liked soul, but I probably, you know, my mom's from Tupelo, Mississippi. I grew up listening to a lot of, a lot of soul records. And British myself. pop, I take it. Not as, well... No, you were more into American no, rock and disco and stuff. I was more stuff. of the rocker, rocker girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, the only other band I can think of that maybe melded those two influences were, was Big Star. Uh, you want Was that sure. part of part of your repertoire at, at any point, or uh, at, at least an influence, perhaps? Yeah, I really liked the band, you know, and I, I listened to their records when I was probably nineteen or twenty, and they certainly made an impression on me. Um, great writing, great delivery, you know, and just wonderful melodies. So yeah, I love that group. So let's get back to the band we're really talking about, the Cheeksters. The, Cheeksters. the latest album is The Golden Bird. You want to talk about it a bit, please? Sure. Uh, we do all our recording down in Nashville, and uh, it was the same for this record. Um, we record on all analog, so we make records the old way, much the same way as some of the, the great artists we've been talking about made their records on the big fat tape. And uh, yeah, we finished this one up earlier this year. We released it in May, and so far we've just had some great reviews. It's our sixth full-length record, and we're, uh, we're very proud of it. As well you should be. Thanks, Rick. I I'm seeing a little bit of a growth in terms of the songwriting. I found this should be your most expansive album, getting into some social themes. Yeah, there's yeah. some stuff that you hadn't really covered before. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of a mix of styles on there, too. You know, there's, uh, there's some kind of funky stuff on there, and then there's the straight-ahead pop stuff. Um, lyrically, you know, just whatever kind of takes my fancy and, and works. Uh, I, I just tend to use, but there are a couple of songs which have yeah, a little bit more of a, a, a social observation style lyrics, for sure. We should be clear yeah. to the writers and the audience that Mark does the songwriting for the Cheeksters. This I is do. all original material. Yes, it is. And uh, everything on the new record's original. Uh, Shannon, uh, Shannon helps a little bit too, for sure. And Shannon, of course, plays bass in the group, which is uh, a very I vital bass role. bass on the record, and I did a few pan claps and and wait a minute, you sang a couple of songs yeah, on this record. I did. And that yes, brings I me did. to the next point. I, I love your singing, and I'd Thanks, like you to James. step out and do a little bit more of it on well, stage. Is that, that something sometimes. you're working towards? <laughs> you're working towards doing some more singing? 
Yeah, maybe maybe it's time for me to branch out and go solo. Oh. Eh? Ooh, <laughs> ouch, ouch. Not going Not there, too, listeners. Um, no, I feel like I've already, I feel like I'm already edging towards that a little bit. What, know? the solo career? No, not. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Now, Shen, Shen has got a great voice, and um, you know, for me as a writer, it's difficult to write for another voice, which is probably why she isn't singing more than she is. Um, it's obviously easier for me to write for my own voice, but uh, we've been working together on some songs, and there's uh, one song on there in particular, uh, Who Said Life Would Be Easy, we kind of worked on together and ta together. tailored it I really to her like voice. Doing and, that. Yeah, and we've been singing in unison a bit too, so it's, uh, it's working well. Great. Yeah. Um, you talked about maybe putting some of the albums out on good old-fashioned vinyl, Absolutely. something near and dear to our hearts. Our Absolutely. That's our plan. This record, for sure, we're going to do it. I mean, we'd love to do some of our back catalogue, too, but um, we're going to start with this one and do a limited run of some vinyl and see where it goes from there. Uh, any thought of maybe just collecting tracks individually from the earlier records and putting a, a greatest hits oh, together? No, that could you know, James, we have been together 20 years. In fact, this year we're celebrating that anniversary, so maybe it's time for a greatest hits. What maybe, do you think? Maybe, baby. Yeah, could be. So talk about tonight's show. What are you looking for? Well, uh, it's nice to play outdoors. It's a lovely evening tonight, too. And the thing I like about these kind of shows are you get a real mix of age groups. And we found that with the Cheeksters music, um, kids love it. Older people love it. Um, you know, the young hipsters seem to like it, Very too. Broad so definition of older people, I should add. Yeah, <laughs> over 70, you know. No, yeah, okay. we like that. It's nice when you kind of cover a wide demographic. That makes it... And the fun. kids do seem to relate to it. I mean, it's, I, I first got into music when I was about eight or nine, you know, and started buying 45s, and it was exciting to me. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I see that in some of the kids that show up at these shows. They're like, wow, are they really doing that? Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of maybe is inspire them to do something similar. You well, know, I think I that also speaks to the staying power of the style. I grew up because I had older brothers and sisters. So yeah. the, the Kinks and the Hollies, and of course the Beatles were on my radar screen. They're on my son's radar screen. Sure. You know, he yeah. doesn't listen to the music right. that a lot of his peers do because right. the children of baby boomers are now adopting that sort of style. Yeah. Right. Which is fabulous. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Not yeah. a thing at all. I'm James Cassara. This is Lingua Musica. We're wrapping it up with the Cheeksters. Guys, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Enjoy the show, and I always enjoy catching up with it. Thank you very much, James. Thank you, Mark, Appreciate and thank you, James. Shannon. Peace out. <laughs>